Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to show you how to create a graphical mesh or a polygon mesh. So I'm going to start off with the Bezier tool. And actually, before we do that, let's just get rid of this background. Um, let's remove the page border. There we go. Now we have a clean canvas. So I'm going to start with the Bezier tool. And I'm just going to click kind of randomly and create one um, triangle. Also what I'll be doing is I'm going to have my snap on and make sure that it snaps at corners. So just make sure you do that. Um, and then when you hover over any corner, it snaps so that you can align perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna snap and I'm going to create triangles of all different sizes. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. Okay, I have my first set of triangles. So everything from the triangles is going to kind of come out. Um, so I'm going to start the next, I guess, row around this first um, set of triangles. So let's click and snap. It really depends what you're trying to do. Um, what I like to do is I like to copy and paste and change. Actually, what I should have done is make sure to group it because if you don't group it, then you might lose some of the triangles in the process. So I just grouped it. I right clicked and selected group and changing the rotation. And I'm going to do like um, maybe a little overlap here. Maybe I'll change the size, make it a little bit smaller, and do something like that. Okay, so we now we have this kind of strange little mesh. I'm going to create now these little circles. I'm going to hold Control, drag, and I'm going to create one little circle, and I'm gonna put it right at the intersection of these different lines, these different triangles. It looks as though it's not, it's transparent. I'm gonna make sure that is opaque. What I like to do is just create varying size of these different circles. You can leave it as is, that works too but this makes it look like it has some endpoints, some cool stuff going on. So there, and as I'm resizing these, I'm holding down the control key. I'm just actually gonna copy more of these. Put some here. What I like to do is create larger circles that um, appear closer to the user. So just try to vary up the different sizes. Okay, so it looks like we have all the corners with little circles on them. Um, I might have missed some, but I think I got all of them. What I might recommend, let's, let's group these first. If you want to um, create an effect where this, this graphical object is kind of is going out into infinity, these ends, what you can do is you can create a mask on top of the object. And I'll do that by creating a rectangle by clicking the square tool, dragging, and just making sure to cover the entire object. Make sure that it's at the top of the layers or the top of wherever it is on the canvas. 
And you can see the graphical object behind because right now I think I have it transparent, yes. So if I just change this RGBA color to FF at the end, that will make it completely opaque. So let's go to the gradient, linear, linear gradient. And I actually had created one before. This is one that I had made. It doesn't matter which color you select. This is just for the purpose of fading out the, the mesh. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to select all, object, mask, set. And you'll see that everywhere there wasn't a lot of color, it made it so it, the graphical object's a bit transparent. All right, guys, so that was a quick tutorial on how to create a graphical or a polygon mesh. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I do post these every Wednesday, so if you leave a comment um, sometime like on Saturday, you should be getting an answer hopefully in the next Wednesday. All right, thank you for tuning in. See you next week.